Hello, welcome back. This is Professor Jim Caffey, and we're going to do Chapter 7 now on Other Worlds and Introduction to the Solar System. Here we have a self-portrait of Mars from one of the rovers we put there, uh, Curiosity. I actually had a NASA intern work for me as a high school student who now lands these rovers on Mars. We've sent 12 astronauts to walk on the moon. Here is Apollo 15 with uh, astronaut Dave Scott. We know the orbits of the planets and asteroids and comets. Here's a graph of those. Uh, the planets are a little bit elliptical and everything else is pretty uh, highly elliptical. The surface of Mercury to me looks like the moon. Here's a picture we took and we have been there with the messenger spacecraft. Our four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, right there. In 2015 I was part a very small part, but a part of the New Horizons mission that flew past Pluto and has now gone on further out to explore. And uh, this is one of the best pictures we have of Pluto. Saturn and its rings. We sent a couple of spacecraft there, mainly Cassini uh, in the 90s and 2000s. And uh, Saturn, to me, in a telescope, looks really fake. If you've ever seen it in a telescope, it looks three-dimensional and thick to me. And that's what I hear from a lot of people. This is the asteroid Eros. We have sent a spacecraft there, near Shoemaker spacecraft. Here is a comet, pretty close up. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name, but we call it Comet 67P. Here are two of my heroes in astronomy. Carl Sagan, who has now passed, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, who uh, I know quite well. Jupiter, our Jovian world, a true color image from Cassini as it was going to on its way to Saturn. And here is one of its moons, one of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede, right there taken in 1996 with the Galileo spacecraft. So what Cassini has done with Saturn, the Galileo spacecraft did in the 90s with Jupiter. In 1994, this was a great event worldwide. Comet Schumacher Levy 9 broke up into 21 different comet pieces about a mile across each. And these icy fragments fell into Jupiter's atmosphere and exploded. With great fury. Here are some pictures from my friend Dr. Heidi Hamill right there. Jupiter with dust clouds. She took these pictures with the Hubble Space Telescope in 94 of the impact of that comet I just told you. And this impact right here in the middle. That dot in the middle is actually bigger than the entire planet Earth. So Imagine what a one mile icy comet fragment could do to Earth. Our moon has been cratered a lot over the years. We know that. And we can tell how old these things are by looking at radioactive decay. We believe that the solar system was formed about four and a half years ago. Uh, for the uh, solar nebula theory and this shows that it was a uh, gas cloud with some ice and some dust and it started to rotate and collapse and started to form everything and then this is really neat really cool um, these are uh, they are called propods and uh, these are planetary nurseries so at the very top of this globule right here is a bright cloud forming new baby stars. We talk about stars the same way we talk about human life. They are born, they are formed, and they are born. They live a 
main adult life and then they go into old age and then they die somehow. Well, that's it for chapter 5. Excuse me, chapter 7. Chapter 7. And I will see you next time for chapter 8. Thanks. Well, did you enjoy that episode of 10 Minute Astronomy? If so, check out all the other videos in that playlist for 10 Minute Astronomy and other videos on my channel. And then hit the subscribe button right there. Thanks.